Okay. Um, is there supposed to be game audio also? Uh, there's like crickets. If you want to just like reset it and just. Because okay. I know sometimes when you switch audio up outputs, games don't like that. Okay. Well, I'll close that and reopen it. I guess. I'm glad the light's on. I can see a little bit of light peeking out from under, and that's helping me feel not insane. There we go, there's sound. Oh my god. I can't tell if it's quiet or if I just have my headphones on in a really shitty way. It's definitely quiet. I'm okay. gonna bring it up on the, on the uh, OBS here, for oh, sure. Oh, the, oh, okay, we're on. That's not what we're playing. No, that was a different... But we're doing this shit again. Yeah. Andrew, would you like to... Would you care to explain exactly what this shit is? Okay, so this this game. Oh, I've got the little doodle. Whoops! I just totally played a game. Hold on. Did you resume or I, I resumed. Uh, hold on. Okay, we're good. Well, spoilers. We're back. We're back. We're good. Um, so this game has been a game I've played a lot since it came out in 2011. Should I have played it when I was nine? No, I should <laughs> not have. Um, but I have said before on stream that I feel like I know this game so well, I could play it with my eyes closed. You cannot play point-and-click adventure games with your eyes closed. Not very well, anyway. So Duncan has never seen this game before. I mean, he's probably seen snippets of it from when I was a toddler. Not enough to be, you know, to know anything substantial about how to actually play it. Yeah, so he's going in blind, and I'm going in blind. So, so he knows the game perfectly, but can't see what's going on. I can see everything, but I have no idea what to do. Yeah, so I'm going to do my best to walk Duncan through these puzzles. And if at any... First of all, there are minigames. We are not allowed to skip any minigames. That is a rule. Um, if I need something described, you need to try to telephone it to me. Okay. That sounds, that sounds good. And... We're just going to try to see how long it takes us to play this. Indeed. The okay. sad thing is I think it'll still be quicker than a like blind playthrough on your part. <laughs> Probably. Okay, so we'll I'm just... dumb. I'm I'm terrible at playing quick adventure games, so That's fair. We're going to we're going to hit new game. Okay, let me just before we go, I'm going to pull up the stream on the thing. Maybe have a OBS up. As We're also game. not streaming the correct game because it was like the one thing you didn't change. Oh, piss. Uh, can you fix that? Yep, okay. Um, Ed, uh, I love whatever oh. game Ryan was playing before now. Edna and. Yeah, there's. Hardy New Eyes. Yeah, that's the one. Because okay. there's Breakout. We might ac actually break out, might actually be like more appropriate for Spooktober. So maybe if we feel like it, we'll play that not blindfolded. I don't know that one nearly as well. But they're both okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to. So I'm going to go into new game. I just want to see how the audio levels are before I you switch over. You just sit here and listen to a nice song, or you can hit escape to Ooh, skip the song. Okay, that's, well, that's that's loud. It, it went from being not loud at all to being super loud. Well, yeah, we went from okay. ambiance to the song. So if you don't want to sit here and watch the credits, you can hit escape. I don't know. Should we? I don't know. I just get to listen to the song. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, we'll skip. Let's just get into it. Hello. That's not me. <laughs> no, Andrea, you made me download a virus. <laughs> At least his voice acted. Correct. I'll be honest, I didn't think that word said opossum. Oh my god, Andrea. Shield your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, never mind. I did. I think we're I think we're good. So, oh, I had a funny introduction and I forgot. So this is we started this in Spooktober for no outside reasons because we're facing the scariest thing of all, Duncan. What's that? Hubris. Oh no. <laughs> my hubris. Absolutely. La. La la. la wow, la, that hose la. is like. It's like wider than my arm. Well, 
Wow, you sound wonderful. Ch -ch -ch children. Ch -ch 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 children. That's pregnancy. What? Ch -ch -ch children, pregnancy. Uh, oh God, is that what this game is about? I feel like this kid's <laughs> too young. I don't know about her. She might not be. I actually. Edna's age is weird because, like, I feel like a convent is genuinely for children, but I'm pretty sure in the breakout, the prequel to this, Edna is like 18. <laughs> wow. So I, I don't, I don't know. Dum 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 da da. We don't need the tutorial. Okay. Uh, I'm your tutorial. So, Duncan, you should have a rake in your hands. Um, on I... your little mouse cursor. Uh huh. Let's rake some leaves, buddy. I love raking leaves. Now, uh, you're not gonna rake any more leaves. <laughs> you're gonna rake that stone slab that you just got leaves off of. Let me just, uh. Stone slab. You're gonna well, do that a few times. Well, that is the worst noise of all time. Yeah, you're gonna do it more. Do it more. Please, no. Yep. Don't make me do this. Why are you raking leaves? Because the fucking... The leaves went from one stone to another stone. What? Uh, please. One more. I gotta get the leaves up. Oh, wait. Wait. Was Duncan. I supposed to scrape every stone or just any stone? Any stone. Oh. Oh, Duncan. I've been moving all the leaves because I thought <laughs> I was going to be like something under a stone. <laughs> so, if you can believe it, when I first played this demo back in 2011, I just sat here raking leaves for like five minutes because I didn't understand the first puzzle in the game. <laughs> We may have to remove the flowers because this place is too nice. <laughs> Terminate the termites. God, that fucking... I can't get over that fucking hose. Which one? The garden hose. It's like... It's, it's like... It's like... It's like six inches wide. It's huge. It's gigantic. Alright, do you have control again? Yes. Okay, uh, there's a little window on the floor. Uh -huh. Go to it. A window on the floor. Okay, gotcha. And there should be a little brush in the top left corner. You want that brush. Dibs. You should click anything else in the room. Anything else in the room? Yeah. Because. The idea was good, but little harm did it oh, it's that thing. It's that line. Yeah, it's... now you know. Ah, so this is why. It's, it was a formative memory for you. Yeah, leave also. <laughs> Okay. So now we want to go to the left. Ow. To the well? Yeah. All right, to the well. Because there's going to be a guy at the well, and we got to talk to him. Stranger danger near. <laughs> What's up? Gordon Freeman. <laughs> hmm? Oh, Lily. I thought somebody was there. Don't bug me. I'm busy. What can you talk to him about? Um, chores and the well. Talk to him about the well. Uh, didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Something is down there in the well. I can see something. Sparkle. Oh man, I hope it's the key to the cellar. Alright, ask about the... Gumbo. gumbo? Don't ask about gumbo. <laughs> Don't ask, ask about gumbo. the cellar key. <laughs> I do like the icon <laughs> for Gumbo though. <laughs> it's fucking it's a goo it's a Goomba with wings. It's it's a Goomba with Dumbo ears. I love it. Alright, so what are we doing? We're gonna ask about the key. Key Unless yep. <laughs> Such another mouth a lady. Awesome stuff. Sounds like a really terrible like Multi-channel network. It does. Um, can you talk about the rules? Ah, oh, the rules. No. Um, is this gonna be another one of your lectures about law and order at the convent? I'm 
so interested. You know, I'll talk about the rule about the well. The well, the well, well ban. Those rotten adults. Uh, can you be like, but the well is dangerous. The well, yeah, yeah. The, the, the idea was good, but the well was too deep. <laughs> You're still here? Don't sneak around like this. I almost fell in the well from fright. What? Oh, uh, cute. Ah. Are you worried about me now? Or what? Yo, OG peanut butter baby. <laughs> All right, now you, you, we don't want to talk to Freeman anymore. We've given him ideas. And get, get out of Dodge. Get out of here. Go back. Right. Go back to the pond. Gonna dodge out of hell. Out of what now? We want to go back to the pond. It's the only place you can go. Cool. There we are. Oh my God, he's dead. Okay, so before we go back, we want uh, you want to play with the hose that's connected to the faucet. And then, on the right, there should be a, a bush with another hose in it. You play with that bush. Lily was excited. Where could the hose lead to? We may never truly what know. What a surprise! The hose, hose led to a uh, thing. Thing. And then you want to take the hose you disconnected from the faucet, and you want to put it on the thing. All right, on the thing. And now we want to go back to the well. Back to the well. Because we're doing dun, 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 dun. crime things. Crime things? That's an illegal. Uh, so you need to put... Oh. <laughs> when Lily returned to the well, Freeman was gone. He wasn't gone. He was just in a different place. So we pick up the hose and we put it into the well. Because we're going to save Freeman. He's going to die down there. That's so and sad. we want to, uh, for no particular reason, go into your inventory and pick up that rake. Uh -huh. and give, give, give that bee's nest a little, little tap. The bee's nest. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stop! What's going on? Hey, no! Go away! Go away! I'm allergic. Oh no! Clumsy Lily, it actually dropped a bee's nest into the well. Feel like oh this... God! I feel, I feel like. I feel like this game gave me a very important early lesson on unreliable narration. <laughs> uh, anyway, we don't care about that. We're gonna go play with that thing we found in a bush. So we just straight up murdered that man. No, 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 no. he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he's allergic. He's fine. Go play with the thing. All right. Oh, hold on. The inventory got in my way. I think it's a pump, but. Maybe. <laughs> Everyone here has an aggressive stutter for no reason. <laughs> Freeman doesn't have an aggressive stutter. <laughs> what? Freeman doesn't have an aggressive stutter. Speaking of which, let's go see how he's doing. Oh, he's not looking great. That's fine. Ignore him. Let's get some. Let's get some honey for our brush. Uh, from where? Your the... brush in your inventory. Oh, the brush. Yes. From Freeman or the bees? <laughs> from from the beehive. Okay. <laughs> Can you just imagine you fucking dropped a bee's nest, almost drowned him. You walk up to him and just go. <laughs> oh God, yeah. All right, and now we're we're gonna go <laughs> to the pond. Back to the pond. Just don't even talk to Freeman. Don't even no, acknowledge what happened. Don't acknowledge him. And now we're gonna go to to the to the other direction, the right. That's what it's called. Oh my god! New screen. And we're pooping out little honey blobs. Gross. And we're gonna we're gonna smear that honey on the garbage. The compost barrel. Yeah. All right. Yep. The compost bin was the ideal place to move the tree mat. Lily started right away. Oh 
no. They're following the honey. How much have honey did we spill? We just had a paintbrush. Ah, oh, you know. Oh god. <laughs> I think he's really dead that time. It was probably the termites celebrating their new home. Their new home. Let's go join the termites housewarming party, Duncan. Alright, let's do it. Hi Edna, bye Edna. It's fine, we'll we'll get to her in a minute. <laughs> I hope you didn't like Freeman. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Why is there a small potato man painting over his dead body? It's just a little, it's a little potato man. Look, there's a key on the floor. <laughs> Just fucking murder that man. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Look, we can go into the cellar now and do the rest of our chores. Alright, goodbye, Mr. Potato Man. Okay, was the key on the floor? Uh, yeah. Hooray. Alright, we're gonna go in the cellar and pick up some stuff. Mother Superior has strictly forbidden the children from playing in the cellar. On the other hand, Lily had a chance to fix it. And that takes priority. Okay, so in the in the cellar we in want the, cellar. the shovel and i think they called it an air hammer oh yes indeed the shovel. That's exactly what Lily how, did, how did we lose the shovel? hold on what is that for you're the expert i'm sure we'll figure it out anyway <laughs> uh we're gonna go dig up the fire bed do our other chore cool where's that at this uh edna's playing in it cool Edna. Edna mod. And Destin. I believe her actual name is like Edna Conrad, which is only significant because she's like one of three people in the sequel who gets a full name. Hey, Lily. Did you finally get out of doing your stupid raking spell? Uh huh. Very good. I, I only had to commit first degree murder. Do I, want, do I actually want to talk to her? No, use, just... use, use shovel on floor. Alright. Use shovel on floor. That's usually how shovels are used. <laughs> Lily, you found a shovel. Oh, Lily, you're the best. Let's not waste any time. And you're the best. Shovel. So this is where the demo ended. I believe on my first playthrough, discounting the raking nonsense, it took me like 20 minutes to get through that. So I'm sure we at least half the time. <laughs> oh my god. I really love the phrase space pirates from World War II. It fucking, it's a bomb. <laughs> they just have a fucking bomb in the backyard. You gotta Near doink it. Foie. You gotta doink the cover open with your shovel. Oh yes, okay. Let me just throw what is probably the payload onto the floor there. <laughs> At least we have a fabulous chef. I already have an idea what we can do with it. We'll bury our own treasure. Do you have anything on you? Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> you some embroidery stuff? Wow, that's perfect. I'll send Chef Gearbone the string that ties us both together. Thank you. Wow, put it in there. Yeah, metaphorically speaking. And then the bomb goes off, and that's how the game ends. <laughs> the bomb will go off. It is a bit of a check. It, it, it is a bit of a Chekhov's gun. It's not gonna. To be fair, well, it's gonna say it's not gonna do anything significant. That's a lie. Freeman's missing, but we did find some random bones laying out in the backyard. I don't know if they're related. <laughs> I'm just like thinking, cause we need the air hammer for something, but I don't remember what. And at some point we need a sword, but I don't remember where we get the sword. 
Uh oh. Oh, we got this. Never mind. No, I know what we do with both those things. I forgot the church was a room. He's the antagonist of the prequel. This is like the. This is like the. This is like the plot of uh, fucking that terrible Zack Snyder movie. I can't remember what it was called. Is that the logical examination? I am very. I'm sure this is all about me. I desperately need a friend. Meet me near the bed. I need your help. Where is it? There it is. You have the rest of the day off. To think about what you've done wrong. I'd bet it not to you, as you've used the time. You better not get attached to any of these fuckers, by the way. Oh no, I'm so. Uh, did you see? Did, have you? Did you see our wolf among us? Oh, piranha plant. What's up? <laughs> Sucker Punch, that's the one. What? That's the Zack Snyder movie that the uh. story reminds me of. Also, did my phone buzz? Uh, no, I had my phone out. Oh. Give it, give it hey, Duncan, feed the cat! Give him, I love Give cat. him his food! He, wait, he, where, he has food? The food's in the dumbwaiter on the left. Oh, wait, it's past the plant. The plant literally can't hurt you. Okay. It I know this is a point-and-click adventure game, but you can't die. <laughs> That's usually how those things work. Alright. Hey, what's up, kitty? No. He eats children. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Lumpy. I think she's very cute. Why do you have regular cat food just laying around? I'm the only cat here who does, doesn't eat regular cat food. Actually, apparently, according to the lunch lady, the cat food is Mother Superior's food. Oh. So, like, I can see a little bit of light poking in at the bottom, right? Okay. Your fucking RGB caps lock is driving me insane. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, point, it's, it's point and click, so I imagine there's not a whole lot of typing involved. There isn't. The thought made a little shudder. Stories about Doc Marcel. Dreadful Marcel, Marcel. He could tell Edna the news. I yeah. don't know what Dr. Marcel's first name is. He has one, I just don't know what it is. He had a son. He's dead. That's so sad. You should just uh, remove him forever. Just put him wherever Freeman went. <laughs> Actually, spoilers, but I think Garrett's like one of the only kids in this convent who won't die by the end. Oh no! But I also don't even know if he's a kid. So just anyway, out, there's some marbles on the left. Uh, marbles. And we're gonna leave, and we're gonna ignore everyone we see. All right, let me just find the like the two inches on that. You know, I was gonna say I was like, perspective made me a little confused. I didn't know how to leave. All right, where are we going? We're going outside. All right, we're just ignoring the, the yeah. children. Yeah. And I do mean we're going outside. Outside the door, like just below you. This, this man is an anteater. Or wait, 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 wait. Uh, never mind. What? Have you been forcibly uh -huh. stopped? I have. Oh no, that. Okay. Um. Not after him. We want to go to the other archway that we're standing next to right now. The other archway to the convent hallway. Yeah. And we want to go through the middle door. Collection. Yeah. There's a guinea pig in a jar. We want that. That looks like a cat, but okay. It's a guinea pig. 
All right, now you can now you can leave. Now we want to go outside. Dun, 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 dun. Like yeah, the blues. This game's about uh, this really quick. Where are you? So we're just in the the stairwell. Oh, um, to the door below you to oh, outside. To the wall. Yeah. Okay. See a nerds. Uh oh. You're about to be bullied. I killed somebody. <laughs> Tennessee. <laughs> also, this game, this game series also just like nullified me to fucking whack ass names. The most normal name in this building is Frank. Mm, such a good girl. Yeah. Shh, no one knows. No one knows what we've done. <laughs> there used to be 50 kids here. <laughs> now there's like a dozen. Hold on, there's... Including Lily, there's... Yeah, there's like 11 kids here. Good guess. sucks but um Oops. actually wait go to the cafeteria on the right to the cafe hello so give the your jar to the lunch lady hello doris wow that is the worst <laughs> voice <laughs> so th fun fact the lady who voices Doris also voices Lily. Sorry, this voice is also Lily's? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Just plap. And we also want to grab a coconut from the fruit bar. Coconut. All right, now for real, we're going outside. <laughs> we're out of here. So, Duncan, remember that bomb? Yeah. We want that. I love bomb. It's exactly where it got left. Like any responsible children would leave it. Or, you know, irresponsible children would leave it. It would be yeah. more accurate. We want the the, the the shell. No, we part. want the detonator. The dangerous part. All right. All right. Now we're going back to the dorms. Yay! Dun 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 dun. Because uh. the two girls dun, we passed dun, by, dun, they're like revolutionaries, right? Anarchy. They also really like magical girls. F the police, a cab. So anyway, we should we should go help them with their revolution plans, don't you think? Viva la revolution! Dun 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 dun. dun. Yep. Dun 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 dun. Wait, no, this way. I'm gonna go this way. Show them show them your new thing. So Shibuya Power. power. Yo. Is this an is this another fucking Is this another fucking uh Game about psychic teenagers Hell yeah. that takes place in Shibuya specifically. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think you initiated dialogue. We don't want to talk to them. We just want to show them our bomb. Okay. Yo, what up? Here you go, girls. Eat this. And 
the power of love and anime. I do love like that's a very real reaction to just being shown a bomb. <laughs> Gumball. I think we've seen the perfect spot for this bomb. Hurry up. Let's go to the cellar. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Amber did just did a like a huff. I'm gonna like. just quickly um because one thing about this is that this music You're fiddling is with the sound. I don't know. Sound. I was just trying to get like the music to chill out a little bit. I know it's good music, but like you can't really fucking hear these people talking ah. at all. Um We're going to the cellar. Yep, yep, I know. I'm just Navigating. All right. Yes. Do you see a good hiding place? I think that obnoxiously large stove is a great hiding place. Let's do it. Meow. Hey, Memphis. Hold this. <laughs> Click, and then it's locked forever. Oh no. So, uh, we're gonna ignore that for now. Alright. We're gonna go back inside. A rip child. Number two. That's but, like close enough. We get to keep a body count. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, 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 I just explained that we've been watching the show close enough, and uh, we keep a body count. Um, it got a little bit weird that one time. Where an entire country's uh, male population died in a single episode. We just started season three, and so far the count is, I believe, two million and twenty-eight. Uh, I think we might have gotten to like thirty or something by that point, but yeah, we're we're, we're anyway, getting up there. We want to go all the way upstairs. Okay. Lot of all the way. Now you should be greeted by like three masks on the wall. Yeah. You want to use the hairpin on the one that's angry. Mm. Perfect. The hairpin fit exactly into the hole. And I think there's only one other door up there. Uh, yes, the gallery. Yeah. And that brings you to like like a little like place with like a fireplace and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you want the berries. Berries. Deadly nightshade. Yay. And now we want to go into Mother Superior's office. And we want to take the receipt holder on the desk. Very nice. So I say we have a sharp, we have a stabby thing, and we have some deadly poison. <laughs> Because arming ourselves with the teeth. It's okay. The, the the pointy thing isn't gonna go into anything that's alive. <laughs> that's a specification. Puma. I don't think you pickle things in alcohol. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you pickle them in vinegar. <laughs> so that can that that guinea pig that they were just talking about? Oh wait, did you get the receipt holder? Yeah. Uh, hold on, I just, I just read the receipt. Now I have it. Okay, so that guinea pig, and that receipt holder. You can make friends. Yep. Lily thought this idea was delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sound! I'm pretty sure that um, that this is like a sign that the, that the FBI watches out for in youths, where you they like <laughs> like 
like attack like like harm slash desecrate animal bodies. Alright, anyway, uh we need to go downstairs. Not that, you know, the first two you know, murders were not those, like those were accidents. Signs. Those were accidents. We haven't intentionally killed anybody. So alright, we're we going from here. Uh, uh are you downstairs? No, I haven't gone anywhere yet. I just sit in the office. We're going downstairs and we need to go back to the hallway with all the doors. Which is the like door on the top right, I think. <laughs> and we want to go to the end of that hallway. Every time I pull up the inventory, it stops making movement. Well, whose fault is that? The inventory. Oh. Where are we? Uh, I'll I'll, I'll tell you when I know where we're going. Just, just I'll tell you when. We're, okay, we're got we got Kapu and we got to look for the collection, and then there's like a classroom. We want to go to the classroom. We want to do the classroom. See, so like, also, I like that you label this is like the 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 hall with all the doors. There's two doors, <laughs> plus the classroom. Okay, and now, so Birgit's there, right? Yep. You you want to give her our brand new guinea pig? Cause she's gonna sew a banner for the cafeteria. Cause the cafeteria was missing a banner. I didn't point it out, but. This is a regular animal, but do you think it also conveys? I bet that thing fucking smells. <laughs> just that thing when the, just been just thing soaked in alcohol that's been skewered. How you doing? Comfor you. Comfortable? Yeah, I am. Seeing nothing but blackness is getting on my nerves, but you know. Uh, anyway, hey, I wonder if she's done with that banner. Guinea pig banter. Ba banner. Banner. Guinea pig banter. Let's talk about guinea pigs. Let's go put it with its brothers in look the cafeteria. At, we, we can talk about how fucking... We can talk about how your dad is like fatally allergic to guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've, I've angled it so I can get some light to my eyeballs without seeing the screen. I'm a genius. Hooray. Alright, back to the cafeteria, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, it's a Jesus painting. They celebrate oh, wait, actually, look at the Jesus painting. I like the description for it. They're celebrating Thanksgiving, Andrea. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. You right click to look at things, I think. Lily had always liked a large painting in the main hall. It showed a dining table at your big meal with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. <laughs> <laughs> he would eat it all by himself, no matter how much the others begged. Wow. <laughs> oh. There, okay, were, there were a lot of signs for Lily. <laughs> All right, now we're going to the cafeteria to hang up our guinea pig banner. Bug it. Bug it. I do like that our f that our fucking fruit bar like is it just have like whole ass coconuts in it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go see how Bird gets holding up, because we're a caring friend to people who hate us. It does. The guinea pig does look kind of comical next to the the, the, the eagle bear and the and bear. The... I'm glad All you right. said eagle first, because I forgot what the third animal was. <laughs> All right, uh, just for, for one more corner. We're going here. Da, 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 to the classroom. Da, 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 da. Oh no, she's so upset. I can't even tell you how disappointed I am in you, Birgit. This is the worst job I've seen in my entire career. Birgit, and now I've been so alive bad. for centuries. <laughs> <laughs> you are bad. It just reminds me of um one episode of Distractable. I think they were talking about like stupid shit kids do that they think they can get away with and at some point one of them wait looked up like a list of things you should never say to your kids and number one was like i'm proud of you oh no you're a bad person i'll make up for your failures 
she does have a different accent depending on what line right, she's now reading. Now that, that log cabinet's open now, right? What's that? that? That cabinet in the back, it's open now, right? Yeah. Okay. The, the puma. The puma. Thank God it's not, we're not, not, thank God it's not, we're going to have a jaguar. She'll be all like, jaguar. Okay, so we want to, we want to take some stuff from that cabinet. We want the uh, embroidery that's in there. And there should be like three animal thingies. Mm -hmm. We want the deer. All right, now we're gonna go back to the um, fucking what's it called? The collection. The place where we got our guinea pig. Okay. Now we're gonna talk, and we're gonna talk to the corpse in the corner oh, <laughs> that um, we completely ignored the first time we were here. I'll be honest, I didn't even notice it. <laughs> what's up? I think we can set it up before talking to him. I just don't remember the order. What? <laughs> the original with, with extra ketchup, please. Alrighty then. Alright, what are our dialogue options? The old man. Oh, that's it? That's it. Okay, talk. Uh, how rude of me. I forgot to tell you. Um, this person does not sound nearly as old as they look. <laughs> it also doesn't sound like the race they look like. Who is this fucking person? <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna get that question answered. Story. It's his book. Oh, did it say book? It's book. I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class in a convent school. I it was in a convent. Stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school chapel. That's the one we want. About my time as a lighting assistant for the main library. Although that one's funny. Um, what we got? Moon. Is this more story? More story. I'll get to that. I need the threes. Oh, wait. I think we just have to. It's the wait. same story. Um... It's just the same thing again. Oh, pissed. We have to talk to Frank first. Oh shit. You're okay. the expert. I wouldn't know. All right, let's let's leave. All right, we want to go to the chapel. It's the only room here we haven't been to. Um, is that so? In, in this hallway or a different place? Oh no, different place. I forgot about that room. <laughs> We're not going there. Uh, so just Two the door chapels, on the gotcha. left. I see you. It's good that you can see. I guess it makes sense. I guess the game would expect the player to go to the chapel first, because that's where they saw Garrett go to. What's this? Where has Garrett gone? <laughs> the chapel didn't have a second exit. We've been gone for like half an hour. Where did Garrett go? It's a mystery. Um, give Frank the air hammer. 
expect this with no context. We're not even talking. Alright, I check with the old man to see if we can ask about the Templars now. Oh, right. Frank! Frank! Okay, uh, before we go back to the old man, open the surveillance booth. Maybe the confession booth? Yeah, there's, there's like a, a panel on the left of it that you can open up. Pop it open. Oh. That was the hard evidence that Garrett would find his mother's security. Oh my god. There's a board in there, take it. The board. Okay. Got okay, it. now you can leave. Into the main hallway. Alright, let's go see the old man. See now now we vaguely know about the Templars, kind of, not really. The Templar. I didn't realize that this game was going to have such deep lore. <laughs> yeah, man. It's fucking Psychonauts all over again. It's okay, ancient. Oh, ancient one. Tell me your stories. Uh, Templar. I fucking passed right out. That doesn't seem likely, I gotta be honest. <laughs> Pretty hard to miss Eurasia. You can't say that. I like that movie. <laughs> Get on. Get on with the point. Get out of the dialogue. So, the three slots you see in front of you, right? Yar. We want to put our little mask we got in slot one. Thunk. We want to put the deer in slot two. And we want to put our coconut in the last one. And now talk, talk to man. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what are our dialogue options? Uh, story, memory, Templar, clues. Uh... Templar? No way, fortunately. Ah, exactly. Now I remember. On that day, I was particularly angry. <laughs> he had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel. Knights returned from a secret meeting. They examined my work 
Cool story, bro. Including the meaning of the secret temple symbols on the stone slab. And now to hear the elegant This isn't even the most incoherent story I've ever heard from an old man. Your little girl uncover the mystery of the secret crypt below the slab. One day I really have to tell you that story. He's dead. <laughs> anyway, Frank's really interested in that conspiracy, so let's go give him a hand. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, da 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 da. Dun 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 Oh yeah, uh, book, book. What's the matter now? Good musical sting. <laughs> that does look very interesting. Uh -huh. Let's He's see. standing over the hole that he made. At least there was a oh fuck! This is stuck, who isn't it? Uh oh. <sighs> it might be. Shit. See, what, I was practicing this before dinner, and I specifically I wanted to check on this. Because I knew this was going to be a pain in the dick. <laughs> okay, what's in our first square? Because there's like four quadrants, right? Um, yeah. Okay, what's in uh, column one? Um, okay. We've got... Oh, God. We've got... I don't, I don't know what that is. It's either... Oh, it's an owl. Okay. <laughs> An owl and like a, a fox, maybe some kind of mammal thing, or maybe it's a lizard. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's got a long tongue sticking out. Okay, all right. From top to bottom on column one, what is there? The owl and then the creature. Right, and then. And then on the bottom, like the next quadrant down. Yeah. We've got like three symbols. We got a key, a clover, and like a badger. Okay. And what's in the fourth one? Oh, uh, well, and so yeah, so that that, that that's that, that's the leftmost column I'm describing. Yeah. And then the last one is the blank. Okay, so in the leftmost column, there's a fourth symbol that you didn't describe. Take that and just just stick stick it in there. Is it? Sorry, there's a symbol that I didn't describe. Yeah, you should have access to like four symbols on the bottom of your screen. Um, on the bottom of my screen. Um. Is it not on I the mean, bottom? I mean, I, I clicked on the box and then symbols showed up. Oh, okay. Then just click the one that isn't there. Okay. Okay. So yeah. column, column two. Column two is completely blank. There's nothing in it. Oh! <laughs> What's in column three? Column three's got a lion, the the key, clover, and uh, badger again. Yeah. Then it's a blank space, and then there's the lizard thing. The third space is a blank space? The third space is blank, yeah. Alright, so the third one would be the the other thing that I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Whoops, hold on. Um, yep. Oh, wait, no, that's... Never mind. Okay, so that would you just put down the owl? Yeah. Alright, what's in column four? Column four is completely blank except for the last spot, which is the key, clover, and badger. Okay, so column two, row one, put the trippy symbi. And then, be yeah, okay. so then the lion's missing from quadrant one, right? Uh, yeah. Alright, put that one in there. Okay, what's quadrant two looking like? Um, we're going like left to right. I'm going one, two, three, four. Okay. I just poked the microphone, it's fine. Yeah, so left, left to right, okay. Um, right now, we've got, right now in, in number two, we've got the lion and the trippy Simbi. And those are both on the left? Yeah. Okay. Owl is in the top left corner, right? Of the whole thing, Of yeah. the whole grid. Okay, so put it in the bottom right of that quadrant. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay. And then put the other one in the other spot. Neat. Alright, so then... So we got three more spots to sort out? 
Yeah. Well, okay. okay. Well, this one solves itself because there's only one thing that can go here. Okay. And what's left in quadrant three? Um, there's the uh, we've we've got to figure out where to put the the lizard and the and the owl and the owl. Okay. Um. Is there any other lizard in row three? All right, put the lizard there and the thing there. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, Something happened. I, I mean, it went gray. Oh. So, close the book. Uh, no, three little paper scraps should have popped up then. Uh, yeah, those, those. Okay. So you want to match those. To like, the t like, there's one that's vertical, and I think you put it somewhere in the bottom left. And then there's one of the horizontal ones you put next to that one. Oh, interesting. This could fit in two. Th this could go in two different places that actually could be appropriate. But yeah, put that next to it. And then the third one goes where the third one goes. Goes where the third one goes. Yes! Yes! We did it! Oh, that's another thing that's super formative that I've quoted for years. Wait, is this actually correct? There was a there was an X, an X popped up in, in a spot. Yeah, that's that's where the the Templar treasure was. Oh, okay. Hope you didn't like Frank, by the way. Dude, rip. Yo, IRL celebrity name drop. Let me just drill through this stone slab and what's that? A sword. A real Templar sword. Oh my god. Man, sure is wedged in tightly. Hope that isn't a load bearing structure. And it was. Rip. The potato is back. Oh, oh, I see. I see what happened here. Oh, I was gonna ask why we haven't mentioned the potato again up till now, and we haven't seen the other one. Hey, so that board we picked up. Lock him uh, in. Or wait, pick up the sword first. Pick up the sword first. Okay, hold on. Fucking inventory, get out of my way. Because the game's going to teleport you away when you board Garrett in, I think. And we don't need a reason to come back here. Okay, hold on. Use board on door. Hey, what's going on? Is that you, Lily? Did he say that's funny? Yes. It's hilarious. Lily felt uncomfortable about it. Locking someone into a confession booth was probably not appropriate for a well-behaved girl. On the other hand, she was doing Edna a big favor. And friends are more important than the law um, and basic morality. We're actually making good time. How do you know? I just looked at my phone. Andrea, you're blindfolded. You can't look at anything. I can't see in front of me. I can see below me. So I have to, like, wrench my head. Oh, no. Gravity. Gravity stops me from cheating. The balloon? <laughs> Is this the balloon? What? She's talking about a balloon. Yeah. The, the balloon? Yeah. The infamous balloon from the achievement? No. Oh, well then you're just fucking lying to me. It's, it's related, kind of. Something about a lawnmower going at 80 miles an hour? You're gonna see some serious shit? <laughs> okay, so we got a few things we could do. Let's go outside. I love outside. Let's go to the main lobby. There's a clown now. There is definitely a clown. Let's go talk to the clown. Hey clown, what up? Hey, guess what? What? The clown is the achievement I was talking about. Anyway, let's talk to the clown. He's a very tall clown. Another one. Get lost. I'm not in the mood for tricks. Then why aren't you dressed as a clown, clown? We want to ask him about tricks. Um, 
Non. 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 All right, I know the answer. What do you think the correct answer is? <laughs> Fucking hypercube. Um, what do I think the real the real answer is? Yes. Pterodactyl. The real answer is wrench. A wrench? Ew. <laughs> Dude, he's making a balloon animal with a cigarette. It's like, that's a dangerous game. We got our wrench. Uh, well, we got one, yeah. Let's go upstairs. Alright, bye. We're about to solve the best puzzle in the game. Alright. Are, are we upstairs, upstairs? Uh, no, not. We haven't moved at all. I, I, I didn't hear. I didn't, I didn't catch what you said at first. We're going upstairs. We're going. Here we go. Sing, uh, over there? No. Oh. You can hear the footsteps. <laughs> you, you have the headphones. You can double click to like teleport. Okay. Uh, Wait, just for future reference. To the gallery or oh, upstairs. Sh chandelier. Yeah. Oh, are we gonna wrench this chandelier? Yep. Oh boy. It's another good quote that I like. <laughs> I'm not teleporting, Andrea. You you only you only do it when you're moving from screen to screen. Rip. The online reviewers sounded a bit hoarse today. Maybe they <laughs> smoke so much. <laughs> Let's go see what we did. I love seeing what we did. Oh, uh, we're paint we're painting again, then, are we? Yeah, there should be some cigarettes on the floor, as well as the balloon. Oh, very nice. Very nice. The fans just left the cigarettes here. <laughs> And we also want the bow one. This looks like my friend. Done. Now only two pieces of evidence left to completely erase every scrap. All right, so we want to go to the gallery. All right. How about the gallery again? Oh, we're going upstairs. Yeah, it's just it's just above you. Okay, we're here again. Let's talk to Kapu. Um. Wait. We're, we're here. Where is Capo? What? I went to the gallery, but yeah. Capo, there's no Oh, Cap not the gallery. Um, the fucking, the, the row of doors. Okay. Alright, combat hallway. Capo! Hey, what's the gallery? The gallery is like the place where the office is. Oh. We are the best. Yeah, let's go check up on Birgit. Hey, what are you, what are you doing? Oh. Wow. <laughs> this is quite a game you have here. <laughs> I played this when I was nine. Yeah. Is that what happened to you? <laughs> Fucking maybe. Anyway, look at Banner. Oh wait, hold on, Banner. <laughs> hold on. I'm I'm leaving instead of going back to where to the classroom. Hold on. Look, a banner. To be fair, I think leaving is the appropriate reaction to that. And we're gonna go to the, to the dorms. All right, dorms. Mm -hmm. Nope, went the wrong way. Hold on. We're gonna be the male girl. Um, wait, we're trans. <laughs> uh, we're delivering mail. Hi. Hold on, I didn't want to talk to you. I didn't want to talk to you. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Leave me alone. Hold on. Uh, Do you have a letter? No, not that. No, please. Duncan. <laughs> there we go. I nailed it.
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, remember Anthrax? No. That was quite a. That was a. That sure was a time. Hi, right, we want to go to the cafeteria. And hang We're gonna out. come back in two minutes, and there actually is gonna be like the Anthrax. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. We want to go to the cafeteria and hang up our new banner. I love our banner. Thud. Ah. <laughs> Fucking eating That's children. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, has she? Does she have a next of kin by chance? <laughs> <laughs> it was a lovely celebration. The only odd thing is that Joseph was nowhere to be seen. And I hereby award you a Golden Girl Scout badge on a ribbon. Your M. Excellent sense of duty are a superb example to your fellow students. You, Birgit, are a textbook example of how strict and systematic supervision is guidance. Children. We're gonna take that badge. Very short, but Lily enjoyed it anyway. This was probably the best day of her life. Take that badge. Girl pockets. I feel like there's something notable if you look at the cake in the corner. I'm looking at the cake. Right click. Oh. Anyway, we're going to go back to the to the hallway. Okay. And look, people have a hot date. Let's ruin it. Hooray. So, you know that mystery door we haven't gone into yet? Yeah. Go in the mystery door. Oh, okay. We're up here now. Now, uh, we need to get those firecrackers. Yeah. So take our fancy dancy sword and just jam it in the clock. Right. What was Lily to do? Wait until the gargoyle dropped down of its own accord? She didn't have that much time. Let's ignore that and go go back to the collection. All right. Um. You click on like yourself, I think. Okay. To the collection. What's up? Uh, see that gun? Um. By the door. Oh, that the, the must. We want it. That's my old Boy Scout equipment. I might be old, but I can. I can tell you stories that'll make your ears bleed. Some of them are about my old Boy Scout equipment, but uh -huh. only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. What about Girl Scouts? Ugh, I'm also yawning. It's late. It's not that late. It's like 30. It's pretty late for me. I mean, for me. Look. Do an ace attorney and show me a badge. Or even a weep, bitch. 
Good night. All right. Oh, well, I guess he's back to sleep. All right. Let's go take the gun and yeah. stuff in the box. There's a knife, I think, that we want. That kid has a knife. What? No, 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 she doesn't. All right. Please. The clock in the tower sounded duller than usual today. Oh, did it? Really <laughs> Oh. And yeah. look, firecrackers. Hey, firecrackers, nice. Now only one piece of evidence is left to completely erase any trap. Hey. Did, um, I, did the gargoyle always look horrified? Or was that Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, did we ever get a little scene of some sparrows flying on the fence outside? I don't recall. Huh. Go outside. <laughs> Alright. We're leaving. So much death everywhere. Everyone's fucking dead. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, outside. We're outside. Where are we going? Oh, oh, like by the well? Yeah. Are there sparrows on the fence? Nope. No animals here. Just huh. the bugs and the potato man. Okay, uh, go to the cafeteria then. We are now in the cafeteria. Give, give Doris the knife you found. Give it to a responsible adult. What do you have there? You got my knife? Uh huh. You just don't believe him. That a little brat like you is running around with a knife. Let me tell you, you used a today or he's frightened and this week can't go right. Don't you know how much damage a knife like that can do? Oh, I can. I've done so much more damage than this knife could ever do by itself. That would be a real shame if we had hurt someone at some wait, point wait, today. Wait, 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 So irresponsible. Here, take this chainsaw and stare. <laughs> now that I have my knife back, I won't need it anymore. I see. So that's the direction this day is going in, is it? Yeah, so uh, we're going to put the alcohol in the chainsaw? I just fucking realized we have a gun, a, a bandolier of firecrackers, and a fucking chainsaw. Jesus Christ. Put your jar in the chainsaw. How did you even? What? How would this like nine year old figure that shit out? <laughs> okay, what, what do we what do we have in our pockets right now? We got some marbles, nightshade, cigarettes, a balloon, gun, firecrackers. Okay. Uh, a green screen. Go out to the um the swing tree. Uh, the swing tree. It's outside, past the oh, little pond. okay, got it. Okay, so is this the part where we fucking chainsaw this chick off the cliff? Yep. Oh. Alright, I'm starting to pick up the patterns of this <laughs> game, you know? If it makes you feel any better, after this point, we are only directly responsible for like two more deaths. Oh, this is what makes this sparrow so funny. That's right. You wouldn't think you would think that the child would, uh, who was swinging on the tire swing, would maybe get off when they saw a fucking ch a nine-year-old buzzing a hunk out of, of of tree of their out of their tree with a chainsaw. <laughs> but she just kept going. Uh, 
Uh, before you leave, can you put the balloon on the firecracker? Lovely. All right. All right, uh, go outside. <laughs> That's not going to be important for a while, but... Bird. Telltale. Oh, this is I a love tell Amogus. This is a Telltale game? Oh my god. Alright, get that book. I don't know what's gonna happen. Birds. Yay, sparrows! Grr. Alright. Uh, hey, put those marbles in your gun. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna go back outside. And show those birds what for. <laughs> oh dear. To prove to our bully that we are in fact a badass. And also that we kill things other than humans occasionally. Yeah. So, you know, shoot the bird, Duncan. Alright, use gun on bird. Oh. That's not what we're aiming for at all. Lily might have missed his sparrows, but her effect on Shawnee was apparent. He actually seemed a little impressed. I've heard nicotine's good for the nerves. Oh no, you're not supposed to do that. What a great job Lily has done. Shawnee seemed to feel much better already. You can tell by the way his pupils were slowly rotating towards the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we finally got our recipe back. Let's go bring it to the lunch lady. Hooray. Rest for seep. That rhyme. All right, we're gonna go back outside. And uh, when when we're out by the well, there should be a, a lit cigarette on the floor somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there's there's something else there too, but that's, when I shh, that's not that's not real. The funny gnomes are just painting their new house. Leave them alone. <laughs> we're going back to the cellar to um get the uh, the punchline to our brick joke from earlier. Oh well, everything here is all fucked up. <laughs> All right, well, let's put put our wood in the stove and light it up. We have wood? That tree chunk we cut out? Oh, yeah, that thing. Oh, no, that has our that has our, our, our friendship forever symbol on it. That's so sad. So just smush our cigarette against it until it lights up. That's definitely how that would work in real life. We, let's sorry, take this living-ass tree and... <laughs> sorry. We use a balloon to unscrew a chandelier, and this is the thing you're questioning. Anyway, grab some canned food while you're here. We also managed to fire a musket without fucking ripping our arms off. <laughs> yeah, we're bought. Sorry, what are we doing? Grabbing a can of food. Okay, um, canned food. There's like a stock of cans on the Yeah, top. I know. It's oh. there's like a there's like two pixels that I can click on for it. Oh, um at any point if you need to see where you can click hit tab. If tab doesn't do anything, hit the space bar. Neat. Yeah, so that'll show you later. Anyway, right. let's go let's go bring that food in. Like to have? Yeah. Canned food? 
use food on lunch lady. I think we'll finish up chapter one and then we'll call it for the night. Okay. Chapter one's like the first half of the game. I don't know why it's so long compared to everything else. Or, I mean, I, I'll ask you about it, but I do know it's getting on the lighter side. All right. All right now, now that. we're going to the gallery. Yay! All right, we're in the gallery. We're going to the office to feed the cat. Yeah. The only job we actually had. All right, there should be. Oh. <laughs> All right, so there should be a big old duck. It's like that does not look like any duck I've ever seen, but I'll I'll, I'll let it slide. It looks more like a ham. And as we've learned, cats love duck. Well, I mean, that is that is true for at least one uh, animal that we know. So. <laughs> Get this little whole thing in there. Well, I think we should pick up that duck and give it to the piranha plant. Do 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 do. Chomp. And then we just throw the plate back in the dumb waiter. Now I should have pooped out some cat food. Mm -hmm. give, the, the, give the cat some food. She hungry. <laughs> Lemke obviously enjoyed the caking flavored cat food, and it really looked like he already had an idea where to get it. Oh my god, Lumpy's a boy. I don't know why that confused me so much. Anyway, let's throw up the embroidery on that hook, give him some something to grab on. Yay. The narrator was slowly losing interest in coming up with motives for Lily Duck. <laughs> Oh, oops. What are you doing? I was just clicking the wrong spot, that's all. Oh, I'm really glad we got... A bird. I'm really glad we got to hear that, though. That's really good. That was a good... I honestly thought that could just have been part of the script. That's the thing. He really does feel like it. Anyway, um, so that balloon. Let her rip. <laughs> Beyblade? Wait, who am I trying to scare him? The pigeon or the bird? Or the cat? Oh, the pigeon. It was a tricky plan, but Lily was running out of options. I don't, I'm not going to question how I fucking did that, you know? You lit it with a cigarette in your pocket. It's oh just a really god. long fuse. Oh my god, you're right. I'm gonna give myself a sunlight break because I, I, this isn't puzzle solving. I just, oh my god, that's what the game looks like. <laughs> you think our one viewer who is us is having a fun time? I'm having a fun time. Yay! I like seeing colors. Yeah. get three guesses as to what's about to happen to that pigeon. Okay. Or at least the, pigeon the first two don't count. Uh-huh. 
To him. Yeah. Okay, so just follow him? Yeah. Garrett's a cool dude. You can trust him. Let's go. Like a general grievous over right here. I don't know who that means. Stop. It's a guy that it's looks like Garrett. I don't think they've seen us yet. He would think they'd heard us, but you can't be far. I'm surprised that you tolerate this kind of insubordination in your time here. I have the entire ground. The entire grounds. All two of them. How dare you? How dare you talk to Garrett like that? <laughs> well, at least the sparrows are still having a good time, I think. We didn't kill them. Are they just still on the fence? I think so. Wait, oh. where'd he go? Where are we going? Uh, I don't know where the game wants us to be. We gotta end up by the swing tree. To the swing tree. Well, yep, no, I had a feeling that I probably did too, but... Oh, <laughs> found the book! Pick it up! Book! That's so sad. More lake, more money! <laughs> Death was upon me. <laughs> Casually walks away. <laughs> you probably thought you could escape my examination, huh? Or is there another reason for disobeying Mother Superior's instructions? Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> let's hear it. Entertain us. Pick whichever one you you want the most. Oh. What what are our options? There's only one clear answer here. Which is? This is Nazi vampires. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Actually, this Where's game is taste? German. I'm kind of surprised they made that joke. Do you know who that is? Uh, Harvey? It is. He was a bit different in the prequel. The prime thing being, he wasn't real in the prequel. Oh, that can be a problem. Woogie woogie. Woogie woogie indeed. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Woogie, indeed. The Chaos Emeralds, Lily. <laughs> Where are they? Wow. 
our share of that. Actually, Dr. Marcel is another character who has just a very inconsistent accent. Audio balancing is so bad. Edna. Mode? I think I've just pinpointed the root of all this evil. It's this that I was able to install all of the important behavioral blocks inside your roof. Who are you paying attention to those behavioral blocks? Hypnotherapy? Hypnosuggestion. Oh, uh, not all of them. We can't play with fire. Can't touch sharp objects. Can't contradict adults. Hang around dangerous places. Touch alcohol. Lie. Lose control. Or do, do anything you want to do. <laughs> oh, no. So you can imagine we're kind of restricted because we did all of those things constantly. <laughs> Pretty much the only thing we did do was lose control. Do you wanna? Um, I don't feel like, I feel like I, hmm. what happens if I say no? The choice is yours. Who oh, is it now? Yeah. Never! Uh, you mustn't contradict adults. Alright, so I guess I gotta. Yeah, you, you wanna serve that tea. Oh, two of the tea. Spinning. It's funny to take a look at that painting that's talking to you. Don't be afraid, Lily. It's me, Gary. Be stay calm. You were hypnotized by Dr. Marcel, and now you're completely in his control. But don't worry, I can help you. I can have you come with me to my secret room. You can find the entrance in front of Mother Superior's office. In the dark corner next to the fireplace. Okay. Yes, I need your help. I've been watching Mother Superior in the darkness for a long time. I'm just totally ignoring this, of course. Yeah. Need a weed. All I need is a confession. Here, take this extract of deadly nightshade. It's a truth serum. Pour it into Mother Superior's tea. As soon as she drinks it, she'll stop spilling all of her secrets. Did you understand? Uh huh. Excellent. Lily. Oh, don't be so harsh on her. Lily will complete her task. But I have to confess that I have also admired your gallery. I'm especially interested in this embroidery over here. It's a bit unusual, don't you think? Oh, that one. It's just an old keepsake. Hardly worth mentioning. I can't even remember hanging it there. Interesting. What is it actually an embroidery of? It's a horse, is it? It's only the embroidery of a dumb, irresponsible. I'm like a unicorn, fucking. We got Slipnir in here? It's Ariados. Oh my god, Ariados. Ariados has a spike on its head, right? Sure. Spinarak does. Um. So, what do, what do you have? Truth serum in the tea? Oh, you need to get a cup. Okay. You can get a cup, pour tea in cup, put serum in cup. Some teas had to be put this oh. Help. <laughs> Why is this the hardest puzzle so far? Did you do it? Yes. Put tea in cup with nightshade in cup? Yes. Okay. You're too lady. That is strange. The hypnosis is painful. Ah, it was probably just an accident. The whole system piles is a total accident. If I could support, I would just take this. <laughs> but please, Mother Superior, do calm down. Lily will complete her task. Right, Lily? Uh -huh. Well. 
please bring us some more jewelry, okay? Please, Sir Kine. Lin didn't show it, but she was close to passing. Serving more tea was no problem, but where was she getting more truth serum from? You can do it, Duncan. We have ingredient number one. It's the berries. Yeah. Chuck them in the pot. Ta -da. We, we gotta go brew it. We gotta go outside and put it on the fire. You put it on the little Yeah, I, I got you. Okay. I can figure out where this is going. Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Uh-huh. I just wanted to be on the safe side. Lily carefully placed the kettle on the hook and made sure not to touch the fire. Lily's special tea was ready. She called it pure tea. A blend of rooibos and Bedouin night cream. Rooibos? <laughs> Yeah. Also, is there just a torch hanging out on the wall? Uh, wait, hold on. Yes. You okay? Okay. Okay, now go back and serve more tea. There we go. Tea time, ladies. Theoretically, this should be simpler as it is literally put tea in cup. One cup? Yep. Okay. One cup to woman. Do it. It's about time. You said stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 Terrible. I mean, not as terrible as the things that we've been doing this whole time, but not I disagree. Great. That was direct murder. We haven't directly killed anyone. We did blow a guy up with a bomb. He could have left. That was pretty direct. We locked him in there. No, we didn't. We just closed the door on him. Uh, I don't remember if we talked to Garrett. Where's talk to Garrett? On the painting? Yeah. Um, Press on, Lily. I've heard everything I wanted to hear. Now the spirit is obviously on Gaga. I already suspected that. Lady Gaga? She would have been popular around this time. Um, um, she's not the um, yeah, I think she. I think she was like a 2010s person, right? I hit myself with a Pepsi can. That's so sad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I say as if I'm like trapped by the Pepsi can gently resting on my arm. Yeah, wait. Are we really gonna have a psychic experience in this game now? Yeah. Oh my god. It really is a game about psychic teenagers. <laughs> it's psychic literally a teenager though. Psychic children, how about that? Yeah. Hey, uh, Raz, Raz is not a teenager either, it's so. true. He's a radical ten-year-old. A radical ten-year-old. Oh god. It's really... Tekken, I'm just what are you doing? I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to write my name with my right hand just for fun, and um, it's not fun. It's fucking terrible. Oh god. Alright, good enough. Have fun with that. Yay. Hey, go play with the bunny. I love bunny. Bunny, friend. You must not play with fire. Rudy. Rudy. 
えー、やったったっけうっきー Did it and win. I don't know, to be honest, I think I did a little bit better. <laughs> Wait, saying the way I wrote my last name wasn't. I like the way, I like the fact that your, the E in your name is like, is like, is like half an inch above the rest of your name. <laughs> Andrea Bat. <laughs> oh, hi. We're oh, yeah, here now, apparently. Um, is there a cord beside the desk? Yeah. You like it? And then there should be like a little bonker on the on the wall. Wait, a little bonker? A yeah, little like club? a club. Okay. A bonk, bonk, bonk sheet. Bonk what? Bonk the sheet that you're standing behind. There's a, there's a, oh the sheet. Okay. Very nasty. Okay, leave room. Mother Superior closed the shearing up, leaving some meat unobserved for me. Into the gallery. Yeah. Right. But immediately turn around and go back. And pick up the comically large contact lens. So we're gonna go back to the gallery. We're gonna put the contact lens in like the weirdly circular rib cage. Which I really Oh yeah, okay. Oh no. Frosty the snowman. <laughs> is this is this hat on fire? Yeah. <laughs> oh he's going to die now. Because all of his magic is in the hat. And take the take the hat off. Save his life. Right. Oh dear. All right. Do you have the fi fire hat? Yep. Uh, light up that firewood he's sitting on. Oh no. See now we're killing intentionally. Oh god. We did it. We won. We won. Absolutely. Oh, we, that's it? That's, is that chapter one? Is that, no. Oh, what was I was going to say. I love this song. They never play the full version in the entire game, and it makes me really upset. Congratulations. This is another tutorial we can skip. Okay. Okay, so now, plant. next to your inventory, there should be a restrictions menu. Yes. And you just want to click the only option we have. <laughs> so you can take out one block at a time. So you can do the things you're not allowed to do. Okay. So now let's go to the gallery and make some fire. Alright, to the, to the gallery. So we'll light up our little torch and put it in the bracket on the right. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. Light, light the torch, and then take flaming torch and put it in bracket. Or we can actually do the thing. There we go. Hooray! <laughs> wow. Secret tunnel. Uh, touch, touch the bracket. 
Secret passage. Yeah, let's go inside. Yay! Let's do it. Lenny, you did it. Perfect. I think you're finally ready to know the truth. I'm actually Lenny, Doctor Who. <laughs> and we just need to talk about all this stuff, so. Alright. Um It's gonna be the biggest dialogue chain this entire playthrough. Oh boy. Gordon Garden Gore. Andrea knows this. <laughs> it's a fun name. Hardly. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Oh yeah, we're definitely capable of putting together a coherent image in our brain. Before you ask me let me quickly tell you one more thing about the hypnosis. This Harvey hypnosis is the doctor's deadliest invention. He apparently uses this stuff of rapid to force his will on you. If you want to get out of here, then you're going to have to fight the behavioral rules he's installed inside you. He can also take on the other behavior blocks just like he did the one stopping you from playing with fire. All right. You'll have to put yourself back in the realm. The first step will be leaving the school tonight. Mother Superior has forbidden you from doing this. And because of your behavior blocks, you're incapable of being disobedient. The solution is to once again fight the block while you're in a trance. You have to tackle the problem at its source. Consider the source. <laughs> Duh. 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 Don't. He's a very large fish. He's a chubby man. Salmon. Salmon. The salmon big? Not particularly. Um, Tunas tuna. are big. Tunas are huge. Tunas are ridiculous. They weigh swordfish. They're pretty big. I think tunas might be bigger, but swordfish are pretty big. Blue whale. That's not a fish. <laughs> The police. Please. Please. Bitch, please. <laughs> you just have to get off the school grounds somehow. Um, octopus. Is octopus a fish? I guess. Or no, it's a cephalopod. I mean, you know. Um. Let's not go to the tree swing. I don't think this person realizes that removing our mental restrictions is not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, look at what we did when we had freedom in our on our side. Look, almost all of them can be chalked up to accidents. Uh huh. <laughs> anyway, uh, doink open the bomb. Take that yarn. Fallable is the most important item in the game. Okay. Anyway, leave. Run. There wasn't anything else for Lily that you want. Oh. Leave. Okay, wait, where where is Lee? There's like a giant hole in the fence behind oh. you. Hello, Lily. You're not trying to leave the school grounds, are you? You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. And you do know you must not contradict the dolls. It's possible to have lots of fun without defying the rules set by a doll. You can sort your marbles according to color. Or come up with Yay. for folding laundry. No matter how tempting the funny rabbit suggestion is. Oh no. <laughs> I just remember there's a joke in this game that aged really badly. Oh no. So, I don't know when we'll see it, but at some point when you're taking care of the one that prevents you from going to dangerous places, Harvey lists places that are safer for you to be. And the place he lists are a spelling bee or a Rolf Harris concert. Rolf Harris touched kids. Oh no, I assume he wasn't doing that at the time. No. Anyway, use the ball of wool on the bunny. 
Okay. What do you have there? Can I see it? Uh-huh. A ball of wool. You mean put that on your head? Hooray. She could see the giant mother superior stamping around. And over there, where in reality is an infused captain of Thanos, now a cobbler and a giant spider. And a giant spider with nine eyes? Okay. Does he? Yeah. Oh. Alright, Duncan, if you're paying attention, the puzzle solution will be obvious. But you can yoink a bone from the bone pile? Put the bone in tar and just, just just give the spider a little poke with with your your tar bone. Yeah, what up? Oh yes, Shaggy. I murdered the spider because I was a dumb child. Okay, I think this is the last action for chapter one, so I'm gonna... Fire headphones. Oh, sorry. I'm cheating. I can see the restrictions menu, but get out of here. There we go. Chapter one. Like the first half of the game. We did it. What are you thinking so far of our fun challenge? It's um it's been entertaining. You've been you've been keeping up pretty well. And uh uh, it's quite a game. Yeah. Oh, I just realized because of our stupid banner, you can't see the narration. Save it. Save it. That's okay. You can hear it. Okay. The third time. It's the third time. The time for sitting at the police station and filling out forms. And that time has come. <laughs> but now, there are those very worried. The ones with your friend. What's her name? Oh yeah, she's she's got her whole thing. She got her own whole thing going on. <laughs> Millie was immensely relieved that Edna's fate was now in the hands of this exceptionally competent youthful executive. However, and we all live happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Oh wait, is this it? What's up? Oh, no. I thought this was going to be the quote I was literally just talking about. 
according to Sting, that's a funny thing to grab it. It wasn't so funny after all. Very perceptive. Never knew it, and never look at the map. You must not hang around dangerous places. <laughs> Yo, he's psychic. <laughs> oh my god, electrokinesis. I must like I was talking about the fact that he just fucking yoinked the paper right out of your hands. Psychokinesis. And electrokinesis. Whoa, he's OP. Anyway, we'll pick up that map next time. Alright, so just sort of a bip, bip, bip. I think you can save your save game just in case. Whoa, spoilers, run. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, that's my save file from 2012. Yeah. Oh my god, you were a child. <laughs> I made that save when I was 10. It's so cute. Alright, main menu. Oops. Exit game. Hope you had a good night. That was our first spooktober. It had a scare cord. It counts. Indeed, indeed. Alright, Zach, now you have a good night. I'm gonna go to bed. Alright, well, let's see. Let's see. Prop one, one last proper goodbye. Yay! Stream team, join us for more Spooktober streams, random pop-ups with no schedule because that's how we roll. We had a schedule once. I remember those days. Those were good days. Yeah, and then my life went to shit, and then your life went to shit. And now there are no more rules because nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah. See you next time. Boop. Stream offline. All right. Bye.